Last night, there was a huge ass shower at the web fucking spider right here, and I fed it. <laughs> yes, I fed a spider. <laughs> Hey guys, Crazy Editing, or just Crazy. That story is true. My camera died in, like in the middle of me telling that story, so that's why that clip is so short. But yes, I really did feed a spider because I was bored. <laughs> I was outside, I was sitting, I had nothing better to do. All I was doing was breathing air and staring at the sky, so I see a big web hanging from my porch. So I'm like, hmm. And then there was a spider right in the middle of it, you know? And I was like, Charlotte, I got you. Cause clearly, you know, it built a web for a reason. You know, it wanted food, but no food was flying its way. So I was like, I'ma help you out, sis. And I literally grabbed a dead beetle, okay? I didn't pick it up with my hands, I'm not that weird. Even though I fed a spider, so that's contradicting myself, but whatever. Um, I grabbed the beetle, and I put it in a cup, and I threw it up at the web, and the spider ate it. That's the story, I fed a spider. For the 500th time, I'm a weirdo. So if we haven't understood that by now, <laughs> you should. Okay, on to the intro music. <laughs> Just on to the intro music. <laughs> Bye. Back in the mirror, you say? I'm surprised I don't get many comments on my head. Listen, I wear this green hat a lot, but the only reason, the only fucking reason that I wear it as much as I do is because of my hair. Like, once I get a haircut, you know, my hair is clean, fresh. You know, we love a good and fresh haircut. You know, at James Charles was good. But at the same time, time when my hair grows it grows my beard gets full things get a little nappy even though i wouldn't consider myself nappy you know my curls aren't naps but whatever things get a little tangled and i don't like the way it looks i don't like the way it looks at all so i literally keep this hat on at all times like when i go out when i have friends over like unless i'm comfortable around you to take off my hat you know when my hair is not cut then you're not gonna see shit Fucking nothing. I'm sorry. And like, I get a lot of comments on like, well, outside of YouTube on like, why do you always wear this hat? Well, you know why. Because my hair is a fucking mess. I look like a fucking crazy person. Nobody would want to talk to me if my hat wasn't on. I would look like Oscar the fucking Grouch, even though I already fucking look like Oscar the fucking Grouch. Like, that's my fucking cousin. Like, it's a struggle. But, I'm, I'm, a, but, but, uh, but, 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 mm, yup, love the English language. Um, but I'm going to be getting a haircut soon. Very fucking soon. <laughs> Chill, I'm sorry. Yo, he's fucking terrified. I'm sorry, shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm a fucking weirdo. Okay, I'm sorry. I am sorry. Random thought, but does anybody feel like the world is, like, gonna end soon? No, just me. Okay, yeah. I know it was just me anyway. But, like, on a serious note, like, for real, like, there's so much crazy shit happening that it's like, I just don't even fucking know anymore. I don't know what world I'm living in. And, like, that's why I'm fucking scared to even step out my front door, bitch. I don't know what's gonna happen. Because these biddies out here in this world, in this United States, are fucking crazy. I thought I was crazy, bitch. I have not seen crazy yet. But that would be a lit vlog, though. The world is ending. Emotional. Hmm. Okay, so should I go for a khaki moment, or should I go for a red cherry moment? Ooh, focus, ho. There we go. Because I really don't know, and I'm asking y'all as if I'm live. Okay, um, I've clearly lost my fucking mind. Um, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna go with the tan today because, hold on, let me check the degrees. I'm not letting y'all see my fucking password, so if anybody steal my phone, you can't get in it. It's gonna be an 84. See, I'm gonna go with the tan because I feel like it's gonna attract less heat. And I'm already black as it is. So I feel like I already attract more heat than I should. So I'm gonna go with the tan. Yep, tan's the move. Tan's the vibe. Tan's the fucking vibe, bro. You know I got to use some coconut oil for my edges. You know, to really slick them back. You know, make them fucking, I don't fucking know, but like slick ass edges. Yup, with that coconut oil. Even though I don't got edges, I still use this shit. So use this shit, bruh. And you know I got the old spice of it. By the way, don't mind this fan, okay? I use this fan to, like, wet my hair because it has water in it. And, like, I got it from, like, some damn fucking park when I was... I don't fucking know. Anyway, if you don't use Old Spice, I cannot fuck with you. Old Spice has been my OG. I fuck with Old Spice. So if you don't fuck with Old Spice, bitch, why are we even, like, like, what? 
All right, I'm done with this. Anyway, my point is, Old Spice is the shit, okay? Old Spice is the fucking shit. Let me put on my glurses. Let me put on my fucking glurses. Oh, that mirror is too fucking dirty, but... All right, so y'all see this shirt, okay? It says, this is my cleanest dirty shirt. Okay, and it has like this little Charlie Brown character. I forget his name, but he was a character. Yeah, I forget his name, but like he was some character that like always had like dirt, you know, floating around him, you know, kind of like me. I just found this shirt and I washed it and I just realized that I've had this shirt for like two, three years, to be honest, and it still fits me. And I'm slimming down too. So I just had to point that out, you know. Your boy getting skinnier. <laughs> New angle. This is my spot right here. My mom and my, and my sister hate me jumping on this counter. They hate it, but I love to just jump on it and just to sit up here and be above everybody. You know, I'm above you. I'm above you. I'm above you. Fuck you. I sometimes like to hop up here and like just like think and like just like chill for a minute if I get the time to do that. And I really don't get to do that a lot. So the rest of the day is probably going to be pretty boring because there really isn't anything to fucking do. I always forget to clean you guys off. I'm sorry, I'm a bad host. Trying to watch me through a dirty camera. Shame on me. Shame on fucking me. And here's a bunch of dishes that I probably should have cleaned, but I didn't. It's okay, somebody will do it. It's a beautiful day outside, so I can't wait to see what the fucking day is going to hold. Maybe I'll meet my fucking soulmate. You know, maybe I'll meet Nicki Minaj. <laughs> like, maybe I'll find $100. The possibilities are fucking endless, you know? Like, I could really, you know, gain something from today. So, besides the fact that it's probably gonna be boring as fuck, something fun might happen today. I have high hopes, and I shouldn't have high hopes, but you know what? We'll see. We'll fucking see. You guys will take what I give you, okay? You will take what the fuck I give you. Okay, so before I say something in this vlog, I just wanna peep that we all have red on, and I didn't even notice that until I came downstairs today. So, we're a gang of bloods today. A. Gang gang. But, today is low. Um, if y'all don't remember Lo, she was in like, this vlog is, okay, well, listen, I will link the, um, vlog with Lo, um, down below, but anyway, um, it's her going away party, cause tomorrow she is moving to North Dakota, my sis is moving to North Dakota, and I'm sad as fuck, but I'm going to turn up with her today, just spend some quality time with her before she leaves, and, you know, just make the best of the time I have left. I guess. Lo, if you see this, which I know you probably will, I love you, and I can't wait to see you, and today is going to be as lit as it can be, because you are leaving to North fucking Dakota tomorrow. So, stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> can we act our fucking age, kids? Huh? Okay. <laughs> if I throw it, all right. if I throw it like Don't throw it like that. Because if it hits me, I'm gonna like stab know, you in the neck or foot. And you had to hit me. <laughs> Box head. <laughs> Y'all see how that sweet, sweet innocent girl almost got hit with that ball? And these two just having the time of their damn lives. And you miss. <laughs> Please don't hit me. <laughs> and you too, please don't hit me. He's so cute. Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> that was funny as shit. Oh my god. Tara, say something to the vlog. What do you mean, say? Anything. Trey Way. Trey Way. Bye. Be safe. Don't get into no trouble. Don't talk to no strangers. Okay. <laughs>
and I know that like we didn't really get too close to, to, like to like this year actually but I love you so much and thank you for teaching me everything that you have thank you thank you for inspiring me thank you for being a big sister to me because I just love you to the moon and back and I just wish you the best in North Dakota <laughs> I wish you the best in North Dakota and just do your shit, do you, do fucking you and you know that I will be hitting you up so fucking much and we will see each other soon enough. I promise that we will see each other soon enough. I love you to death. And also don't forget to fucking watch this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just but. Um, I appreciate you for putting this on and I always you will always be able to come at that. It's always an honor being you too, Kirsten. <laughs> don't think I'm leaving you out. <laughs> you guys feel free to hit me up whenever you want. We will. Get my number. FaceTime. We will. We will. You already know. Well, that's <laughs> it. Lowe's about to be out for the last time. <laughs> for the last time. Our hearts are broken, but I'm also very excited for you because you. you're like moving out of Pennsylvania. Like fuck, Pen fuck Pennsylvania, yep. fuck this state. Cause I hate it here too. So you're out. So. Thank you. What's up? I just wanted to pop in one more time because I'm sitting here editing this vlog, so that's why you've seen me twice already. Um because I'm sitting here trying to edit this thing and post it but um I wanted to pop in to say one more thing so let me set down my effing camera and let me say what I gotta say right hey what's up guys it's Christian and it's the day after um my sister Lowe's um going away party and I just wanted to say you know even though I said pretty much everything I had to say yesterday to her um I just wanted to say that I meant every word I said. Lo was moving to North Dakota. Well, well, she's already in North Dakota by now. Um, she was um, supposed to leave early this morning, and she's already there now. And what I wanted to say was, everything I said about Lo, I meant. And Lo, if you're watching this, everything that I said about you, I meant. You're like a big sister to me, you know? You're so wise beyond your years, you know? You've taught me a lot in the short amount of time. Like, me and Lo have known each other forever. Forever. Because our families have been connected, and that was that, you know? I think, <laughs> I think she used to babysit me at one point, or maybe that was her sister. It was either her or her sister, but either way, I've known Lo for a while. It's just, we have never really gotten close as we did until this year so that's why it kind of makes me sad to see her go and to see her move on because it's like we just started getting you know cool it's like you know we you know we just started becoming like family and like we, we've always been family but it's like i've never how can i word this <sighs> it's just we weren't as close as we were in this day and age it's like we weren't as close as we were this year and it's like and it makes me so happy because it's like Lo is an amazing person and I thank God and I'm blessed for him bringing her into my life because she has literally literally changed my whole mindset on a whole lot of things she has been an inspiration to me Lo you're an inspiration to me and I know I'm talking about Lo as if y'all know her and I know a lot of y'all don't know her, but one thing that you can say about her, you know, throughout being in my vlogs is that she always keeps it real. She's funny as fuck. And she's her. 100% her. Nobody else but her. And that's why I love her to death, because she's who she is and she's unapologetic for it. You know, she doesn't care, you know. She just wants to live her best life and she doesn't give a flying fuck what anybody thinks and I love that mindset and that's the mindset I'm trying to train myself to have that's the mindset I want to train my subscribers to have you know no matter how much I gain or how much I lose or whatever that's one of the messages that I want to portray is like you know life is short go go travel <laughs> go out go go to places you've never been and just live your best life and who cares what other people think because it's your life by her moving to North Dakota that is what she's doing and I am so proud of her I am so happy for her Lo I love you to death I love you to pieces and we're gonna get reconnected soon we are 
I feel that in my heart. We are. We're not going to be separated forever. Either I'm going to go up there, you're going to come back down here, or Lo, you already know I have plans to move to Cali. You already know I got plans to go to Cali. So if I end up in Cali, we, <laughs> we meet up there and we get lit together, okay? If I go to Cali, that's the move. But either way, my point is, we're not going to be away from each other forever. And Lo, I wish you the best. I wish you the best. And I love you to death. Just be safe. Make good decisions. Live your best life up in North Dakota with all the mountain lions and the goats. Live your best fucking life, sis. Live it to the fullest. Because you're doing shit that I wish I could do. Just get up and go and move away from Pennsylvania. This fucking annoying in his state like it's crazy the bond that we have created in in honesty a short amount of time and it makes me want to cry but i'm not gonna cry because i'm a real one real ones don't cry and you know that i'm gonna be hitting your line more than often so you better fucking answer or i will climb through that phone and make you answer and no matter if we meet up again in nasty ass pa or if i follow my dreams and if i go off to the west coast and we meet up there we will meet up again sis we will meet up again and I promise it will be amazing when we do. Because that bond that we created while you were here is not going to go nowhere. Nowhere at all. Live your best life, Lo. Live your best fucking life. And I'm going to end this vlog here on that note. I love you guys. I love whoever's watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe. Comment. Do whatever you want. I don't care. See you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Love you, Lo.